balls. <laughs> There's a lot of balls out there. So what did everyone do for Canada Day? <laughs> did you guys do Canada Day things and celebrate because everyone loves being Canadian? <laughs> no? Okay. Good. <laughs> this is what I did on my Canada Day. What all parents do when they have a night out without their kids. I dropped acid <laughs> and put together IKEA furniture. <laughs> That's what you do when you don't have kids at home. Backstory. When I was in high school, I used to be I'm not ashamed of it. You can't drug shame me. <laughs> Those are really good experiences. But I'm 34 now. And it's been a really long time since I've dropped acid. Like quite a long time since I've done anything outside of marijuana. Whoa. So me and the hubby, we got our lurking Jesus. So me and the hubby, we got our Glorkenstein shelf <laughs> that we were going to assemble together, tripping on acid. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? And I was like, dude, I've done so many drugs. Like, so many drugs. Like, this is going to be a walk in the park. It's, it's, it's going to be okay. So we dropped the acid. And like immediately I was like, oh, I really don't feel anything, do you? And he was like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not tripping. So we took more. <laughs> we took more. And uh, as I was unpackaging my Glorkenstein shelf, I, I noticed something odd. It was singing Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon to me. <laughs> and as I held the packaging, it was crying and melting out of my hands. And I was like, oh, this beat mm, dropped. <laughs> strong acid. I looked over at the instructions and they were like raving out on the page because it's pictures, right? No one reads Swedish. They need the pictures. And then I was like, oh shit. My husband's never dropped acid. My Mennonite husband has never dropped acid. <laughs> I look over at him, and he's turned into a tree. <laughs> I was like, okay, he's safe, he's safe, he's, he's in the tree state, it's all good. It's all good. And then, and then it happened as he watched me struggling to put together this Ikea shelf. I fucking hate this. While he was high and a tree, he proceeded to mansplain. <laughs> really 
really fucking hate mansplaining. You know what I do when people mansplain? I imagine that they're like two sweaty sacks. Like just balls. Mars. That's what I do. They are no longer a person, they are just balls. But when you're tripping on acid, those balls turn into quado from Total Recall, just like. <laughs> Did you try turning it on and off? <laughs> Motherfucker, this is a shelf. <laughs> on and off button. I don't see an on and off button. Is there an on and off button? On and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. I'm falling into the void. And then I notice something peculiar. He, he keeps getting a step further away from me. And I can't tell if I'm just really tripping hard or if he's actually moving. He was moving. And the last I hear is, I'm going on an adventure. And I'm like, no. down the hallway, but when you're tripping on acid, you're like... <laughs> I'm almost there! <laughs> he didn't get far. <laughs> he was halfway down the back alley and he found a cat. <laughs> And they were having a really in-depth conversation. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow, we are tripping balls. And then the worst thing that could happen to you when you are a parental unit tripping on acid because your parents are babysitting your kids I got a phone call from my parents. Uh, hi, what's up? Uh, I'll be sick. What? <laughs> yeah, he's sick. I, uh, he wants to come home. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. And then I hear a long pause. <laughs> Alyssa? Yeah. <laughs> this is like me trying to be like not high. <laughs> I go like three octaves higher. Are you, are you tripping on peyote? No, wait. That sounds like purple microdot acid. Is that what you guys are doing right now? Mm. Maybe. Maybe, baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a social worker. I'm keeping your kids for the night. You guys sober up. And then I, I could hear she's about to hang up, and I was like, no, 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 wait, Mom. I'm scared, how do you sober up? And then she just hung up. We asked the cats. <laughs> he had loads of information, by the way. So we went upstairs and we cleaned ourselves, <laughs> ate a whole bunch of tuna, and uh, by the next day, we were both pretty exhausted. Yeah, Canada Day. <laughs>